Hello and welcome to another installment of single player mode Mega Man X. And before we go on to the, the final chapter of the game, where we take on Sigma and the four levels, before we get to Sigma, there's a couple of things we need to do. One, we need to watch back the horrific slowdown of going through that part of Armored Armadillo stage, but also to show you how to get the secret item of the game. The Hadouken. Yeah, hell yeah. Capcom. Cheeky little bastards. Crossing series with your items and moves and whatnot. Now to do that, as you can see as we're doing here, and I'm cutting bits of the level out, you need to fly off that cliff, land on the side, and get that power up at the top. Like so. And you need to do this four times, jump off that cliff, and die in the middle like so. Why you have to do that, I don't know, but that's just how Capcom programmed it. So one more time with the horrendous slowdown. Jump over here, and hey, look at that. It's Dr. Light, and he's gone, gone all uh, Karate Kid on us. So, step into the capsule, and we get the final power-up of the game. Hell yeah. Uh, this item absolutely just destroys everything, which is why we won't actually be using it, because I like to think I'm not cheap enough to actually have to use it. Now, we've got a couple other bits to, bits, bits to get. Chill Penguin stage, as I mentioned on Chill Penguin stage, is the heart container. And on Boomer Kawanga stage, the heart container that I mentioned up here. And with that, you have to use the item that you get from beating Boomer Kawanga, so... There we go. Anyway... With that done, we have everything there is to collect at this point in the game. So, it's on to face Sigma. Let's split up. I'll go... in first, and then you can slip in while I keep them. That just sounds wrong. Just sounds really, really wrong. I mean, he looks, you know... Looks like he could bat for the other team. Anyway... So this is the first level of four, which follows the trend that was set forth, set by in the original Mega Man series. And with that as well, you have uh, the same pattern really, in that you'll face all eight Robot Masters or eight Mavericks again at some point. Uh, how that is set up on each game varies a little bit, but for the most part usually you just have a room with eight capsules and you'll just take them all on one after the other. It doesn't quite work like that in, in Mega Man X. They they split it up a little bit differently. Um, I'm not really sure if it works. The flow seems a little bit weird, but eh, whatever. It sort of harkens back to uh, the original Mega Man in that and that one was... I think that was one of the reasons for the difficulty alone was the way that was set up, you just you didn't really get a breather, and and those original bosses, because of the limited AI set settings on them, actually made them harder in some ways. But with that said, we just carry on through here, just blow everything up in your past, blow ev I don't even know what I just said there, blow everything up in your past path. <sighs> I don't even know why I'm doing this. I can barely talk. Things get a little bit snug around here, so just take your time. Not really much to say at this point, you just keep going, keep going, blah 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 blah. Oh, and look at that, it's vile. And at this point, you just give chase. And obviously, we don't get to see as shit goes down in the other room, which is not fair, really. I always feel like I miss out on these things. Thank you. 
And once again, you can't really do much at this point. He still will, will overpower you. But one of the th things that I do like is, uh, I mean, you can see as well actually how much you've powered up because it takes a lot longer for him to uh, to get your energy down. But just keep on. And the thing I like to do is I like to come over here because uh, when he gets to the point where he tries to catch you with his beam like this, uh, for some reason, or just because of how it's programmed in, I'll actually pick you up, move you over here, and then come back. Which just seems completely like an arbitrary waste of time. But Zero isn't done quite yet. And... He goes the way of... the hell is he called from Dragon Ball Z? Not Yamcha. It was... No. Who is the bald prick? Teo. Teal? Tail? Who is his friend? Nah, it's gone. Anyway, like that guy, I can't remember. He commits Harry Carry. Um, and we get him down vile into his true form, if you will, or just without the robot machine on. Now, in this form, vile's actually pretty easy, to be honest. Vile likes to fling about quite a lot, and sliding and dashing, so he only has the cannon, and it's not particularly difficult to avoid. So as long as you keep your wits about yourself, oh he's got his missiles as well, how could I forget? But if you, yeah, that that's stupid. So as long as you avoid the net, and keep going back and forth, he's really, for what is, you know, the semi-antagonist of the game, he's not particularly difficult. But it's still possible to take a few stupid hits, as I am showing you how you do that. Oh, that's not looking good. And, uh, and speaking of not looking good, Zero looks like he's seen better days as well. So, with that, with our newfound powers and whatnot, we are uh, going forth, and it gets a little bit naughty around here. Uh, those springs don't help as you try and get through the lasers. I'd highly advise trying to avoid the springs at all costs. And again, the Hammer Joes or Malice Joes are just in the right places to be in a really awkward place. <laughs> yeah. And it, it just goes all a bit Pete Tong here, I'm not gonna lie. And even the use of the homing missiles, I just make a quite quite the balls up. This is probably the worst area in the game of the reoccurring sprites because of the machine that's coming down from the, the top. As you can see. See, destroy one and there's another. And I think this is about where in the game I learnt how to double dash off the wall, but <laughs> even with that, it's just... Your best bit to do is just take a hit and just keep moving. Uh, 
And who do I not want to see at this stage while my health is in this sort of condition? Well, that'd be Boomer Kawanga. Actually, if you're using homing missiles, he's a piece of piss. For this, as I'm showing the 8 Mavericks again, I'll be using the weapon that is weakest against them. And if you're using a homing missile against Boomer Kawanga, just find a corner and stick with it. If he does throw the, the cutter, the boomerang, remember to get out of the way. But other than that, he becomes a very, very, very easy boss to take down. And on we go. I think my one issue with this game, if nothing else, is that the Sigma stages feel a little bit lifeless. Uh, in in most of the original Mega Man series, probably up to four or five, when it just got a little bit silly, the like Wily's castles, you know, they felt like they had a little bit of life to them. They're their own character. Uh, this just looks like a stereotypical grey doll factory type futuristic setting and it's uh I feel Capcom could have done a little bit more with this. And on to the main boss of the first stage of Sigma. And this is the BK Spider. And he can be a right little bastard. The way BK Spider works is there are four poles and a series of poles will come across, as you can see. And you have to try and figure out, before he gets to the bottom, what direction he'll go. And uh, it's... <laughs> it takes a few goes to get adjusted to what's going on. Now he's weakest to the shotgun ice. But even with that, he'll, he still does take a few hits. Now if you try and jump to the walls, he will release a bunch of little mini spiders. So on top of trying to avoid the walls, you have to try and avoid the spiders by not jumping on the walls. So it's he, he's a tough boss, and he's, every now and again he'll just get bored and throw out the spiders anyway. But if you can figure out the patterns before he gets to the bottom, you shouldn't have too much trouble. Or if you get quite lucky and the sprites somehow not collide with each other. I don't know how I got away with that one. And there you go. So that's stage one down.